I'm here with James Governor of Red Monk, who has established themselves as the developer experts that brings beer into everything to use as a metaphor for developer communities. Am I right with that? Something like that. Something I mean, like that? You know, we believe that, that development's a craft. Uh, it, it's not all about just hardcore industrialization. In fact, industrialization can lower the quality <laughs> of things. Beer is a good example. Um, you know, they have Heineken and that's okay. Um, but basically that's about, you know, yield and like driving down the cost of grains and stuff. Instead of really focusing on the quality product, then we believe that you should be investing in developers rather than trying to commoditize them. So we're here at the Chieftain. The Chieftain. Close the, to Moscone. Yeah, close to Moscone. This is the Red Monk lunchtime office for San Francisco. Good deal. Um, they, do, they do great sandwiches here and, and clearly a great range of beers as well. So we have four beers here. Yes. We have the Black Butte Porter from Deschutes Brewery. You say what? Say what now? <laughs> You have the IPA, right? This is the Lagunitas. Lagunitas, yeah, it's a good California beer, though. This one. is the double the monster, double IPA. Double, IPA. Double, IPA. Uh, double daddy. That's double, a double daddy. That's a double daddy, yeah. okay. And then we have the amber. Yes. Okay, so we're looking at the developer community right here. Yep. So who's the double daddy? Is it Google? Is it Apple? Look, I'm gonna, I, I, oh, that's a tough one, because in many respects, it should be Apple, but actually, as far as I'm concerned right now, Google is on a roll. They're like kicking ass in multiple direct. They're like an octopus of ass kicking, like eight legged ass kicking machine. All right, a like, eight, go okay. Google Double Daddy is kicking ass. Okay, right? so, so this is the uh, yes. Lagunitas. So we'll drink they, a little they, bit. They're quite a full, full, full thing. That, right, you know? right, right. So I can't drink too much. Okay. But yeah, Google search is improving. You know, the app engine kind of first wave is like, oh, we're not so sure, but now into like second wave, you know, compute really looks like that's kicking in. Google is in very good shape with developers right okay, now. Okay, double daddy. And I mean Android and everything. Double daddy is, is Google. The, the octopus double daddy. Yeah. Okay. So now, who else can we talk about here? Apple, Facebook? Well, it's a tough one. Do, should, not, we talk, sure, should we talk about Node.js? I'm not sure we have enough beers, really, because clearly kind of Amazon is, is whilst on the face of it, you know, it's like not quite the, the tools company that others are or something else, but as a key context, you know, you can't really write off Amazon, so maybe we'll get some more beers, but I would say this Amber is probably Microsoft. Okay. Uh, and, okay. And, and, and I think for Microsoft, and this is going to be a little bit weird, <laughs> but you know, we're here at, at, at their uh, we're at the build conference, the, the build conference, <laughs> the developer event, and there's different ways to look at this, but really, I, I think that you know, well, pretty clearly, is it a good drinker? Oh yeah, it's, it's way down there. Yeah, so it's way down there. The question is, glass half full or glass half empty? Well, my my thing is too is like, but with Microsoft, they are starting to show some. They're starting to show some real chops, don't you think? I mean, to some extent. Well, I mean, they, look, they're building, yeah, yeah. So I think they can take a little bit off of the double data. Well, well, possibly, but look, I mean, the thing about Microsoft is it they're they're in in the middle of kind of certainly vis-a-vis -vis developer appeal. It's a work in progress. You know, there are a ton of people out there going, Microsoft's dead, but then you come to their conference and it's the true believers and there's a lot going on. They're doing some good job in some areas, but there are a lot of questions being asked. And that's why I say it's glass half full. I mean, you know, you look at the financial results and, and they're fine. Um, you know, you look at the APIs they're putting forward, pretty reasonable, good browser support. Um, they, they still have this dedicated developer community. Visual Studio remains a key asset. But there are people that will be happy to say Microsoft is dead and out of the game. Yes. I don't think so, but... No, neither do I. You know, I started covering mainframes in 1995, and uh, they're still around. So I figured, I don't know, legacy stuff doesn't... Get, well, stuff doesn't, you know, production stuff doesn't die, it just goes into legacy mode. Okay, so now we're in the year 2013. Developers are getting all kinds of attention. Mm -hmm. So where was Apple, by the way? Like yeah, well, that's my. So who is, are these is guys? Apple's who are these guys? Overflowing. We almost need to like pour someone else's beer into Apple's glass because pretty clearly, I mean, Apple from an ecosystem perspective, 
Um, it's interesting, almost by... Um, it's not like they've really done developer relations better than anyone else. But developers fell in love with their devices with such a heavy, heavy crush that it just kind of changed the game. And I think the other thing that marks out Apple is, especially now, where you've got both the elite developer and the consumer both both choosing the same platform. There's like no difference. Right. And, and certainly in Silicon Valley at least, um, yeah, Apple remains the key context. Like, you know, Double Daddy, forget about it. Nobody cares about Android in Silicon Valley. The rest of the world, things are changing pretty fast. But I would say that, um, yeah, Apple is, is in a great place. I mean, you know, everybody wants to be in the App Store, everybody's still doing Apple first. So I think that they are in a tremendously strong position. However, but the octopus I would argue is approaching. The octopus of ass, kick, ass kicking is coming. The double daddy the octopus double daddy is on is its coming. way. So let's see. Here it is. So this one is is coming over here, and it's like getting on its home turf. And it's like, hey, we do the internet. You don't do the internet. Uh, and the octopus over here is going. Vroom. So so I mean you know, and and I think the key thing is design. So clearly, Google is getting fast and good at, at design. I mean, so it's been said that you know there are various things that, that Apple may not be improving on, cloud and so on. I think design, you know, it, it has also been commented. Definitely, we're seeing a significant improvement and investment from Google in good design, and that's beginning to pay dividends. Android is not the ugly stepchild um, anymore. And Google, they've got. How many, they have more servers than Apple has five times? I think they have more servers than anyone, anyone in the world. Yeah, I mean, the Google server farm is, is an insanely powerful resource. And they've been developing that special sauce for years. They now they're bringing need. it into those APIs. I think, I think Apple's, Apple's going to really feel the wrath of the double daddy octopus. In I, I, I think that could happen. And the street seems to think so, too. The street, you know, having been really high on Apple for the longest time, it's like, well, how, how much, how much upside can we really see there? Um, okay. So, do we have any kind of like youngsters waiting in the wings, or do like like emerging well, communities you know, like, I mean, yeah, or is, I, or do we just have like the the spread of like people loving certain programming languages but being attracted to? iOS or Android or even Windows Phone. Well, I think what we are seeing is this, this you know, clearly this transition is accelerating to web technologies. And so whilst on the one hand, you know, Apple and Android, we've got this kind of native thing. Um, when you look at what's happening, you know, around JavaScript in particular, where JavaScript began as, as kind of, you know, oh, a toy, you could, you know, do some stuff on, on, on the browser and some interaction stuff, and then it just became more and more capable, and then it became really capable, and it was something that everyone knew, and something felt they liked, and, it, and, and had a certain clarity, and then it moved on to the server with Node.js. Okay. That has been extremely explosive. It has. And we're now seeing this transition, which to me I think is interesting because, um, you know, when you've got Walmart investing heavily in Node.js skills, Something is definitely afoot. Uh, the financial service companies are out there; they're looking at it. You know, across the board, we're seeing really strong interest. That has propelled Mongo forward. Tengen is benefiting from the JavaScript story. IBM standardized on Mongo. Uh, yeah, IBM is 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 doing some stuff in 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 mobile. But you know, look, not everybody's going to put everything in DB2 in the DB2 relational database. Um, I don't think it's beyond the realms the possibility that IBM buys Tengen. Um, that is something to to scare the developers out there. They'll be like, "Oh my God, what will we do if that happens?" But I don't think um, I don't think it's impossible. Those guys are definitely coming together. Um, IBM recently acquired this hosting company, Softlayer. Yeah, which is a yeah yeah they're well liked by developers. Very well liked. Um, and and interestingly enough, they do quite a lot of Mongo hosting. So I think that that in terms of JavaScript and coming players, yeah, Mongo is, is in a really good place. But clearly, uh, Node.js, so on. That's a powerful story. You see people like Joint in there. Yeah. So I was going to say, there's the communities that we started to see emerging with those the like uh, Node.js and Joint are, are very much aligned. Well, I mean, you know, it, it's it, Joint had made that move to to hire Ryan Dahl. Obviously, right. there there are some questions there, and you know, because they didn't own Node, um, 
but yeah, we saw, uh, I think, a, another, I don't know, joints seem in reasonable shape. I, I, developers aren't like freaking out for them, but they're, again, ah, Walmart, they like Solaris, so they're looking at Smart OS. And I don't know about you, but if I was gonna have a customer, I guess yeah, I'd probably want it to be Walmart, except that they kick the ass of their suppliers, so maybe not. Okay. So let's reassemble the pieces here. Okay, now we got a whole different community here. We're just gonna finish it on this okay. one, okay? So now we have these guys back out here, you know. We have this thing, that thing, this thing, that thing. And, and have you kept track of that? <laughs> yeah, very much so. So now Amazon Web Services, uh, Facebook, yeah. all these kind of other components of the community. Where do, where do we stand here with the beer? What about Blackview? Who's like, who's, who, who's, who, who's sitting right here in the, in the Blackview camp? Well, I don't know, but these all seem a bit the same, and I drank a lot there, so I think you just need to drink because, you know. Here's the Amazon website. So, yeah, I mean, Amazon's an interesting place. You know, they completely changed the game uh, in, in terms of, I think what to me is most interesting is all of the other vendors, and it didn't matter whether it was VMware, you know, with, with Cloud Foundry, um, it, 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 you know, the, the OpenStack folks, um, you know, OpenStack is always a big deal. Everyone's like, oh yeah, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and we're gonna put the, we're gonna bring the pain to Amazon and we're probably gonna do it platform as a service because Amazon's only infrastructure as a service. But it turns out that that's what people want to deploy to and now everyone, Microsoft included, they're going, oh wait, actually, and, and it's very interesting. Microsoft adoption of Azure, is accelerating significantly since they announced infrastructure as a service. The, pa huh. the PaaS model wasn't working for them, they broke yeah. it there, and uh, so we're, we're now seeing a bit of a knee in the curve. We didn't talk much about Azure, but I'm, I'm reasonably bullish about that from the Microsoft point of view. Yeah, I, I, I've been following Azure a lot, and the mobile services stuff I think they're doing a good job with. I think you see that today in Visual Studio, and I wrote a post today about Visual Studio 2013. What's really interesting about that is the influence of Azure. You know, and how Azure's like, Azure's starting to be kind of like what you see with Google uh, Google Cloud Platform, where Azure now is like serving as like the brain, right? Now they've integrated Active Directory, you know, into it. Now they have, they're really starting to build their mobile services, and they're trying to like really kind of like use that as like their, their magnet. Well, the other thing about Azure is that it's cross-platform. It's a validly cross-platform. Not like right in this special way and you'll be cross-platform, but actually, we can support this other stuff. So we, you know, we had the announcer from from Oracle that you know they're gonna they're gonna be offering support for Oracle database on 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 Azure. And I think you know the investments in Java, the fact they were so aggressive to Node, right. which you've already mentioned, that that understanding that it's about infrastructure rather than platform as a service means that Azure is a lot more powerful. And to me, I mean, I look at it and I go back and I'm like, well, you know, they're probably not a bear. They're probably like a uh, whiskey or something like that, or you know, IBM basically. That if we think about when the when the wheels were falling off at IBM and the transition they made, where it was like, you know what, we just need to support everything. I feel like Microsoft is is in that kind of environment now. They're like the customers are saying we want interrupt, interrupt, yeah. we want all yeah. of this stuff. So they're like IBM was in like 1998 or something, going. Oh yeah, we love that. We love this. Oh, global services will say everything's great. We'll integrate it, we'll pull it together, and Azure is that integration platform. Let's finish it up with Facebook. Should we have a lemonade out here or something? You know, well, or, yeah, or I don't Facebook? know. I mean, or where does Facebook fit in this in their developer well, it's community? Because like, if I look at some of those other guys and the aspiration from developers, yeah. it's like because there's something cool about it. Facebook, it really is because that's where the people are. You know, people are like, oh yeah, the people go, you know, write apps to, to the, the Apple App Stores because that's where the most customers are. No, it's much more complicated than that. But I think the reason people target Facebook is really because, you know, that's where the people are. I mean, my wife will spend kind of three hours a day on that thing. Really? So, wow. you know, if I was a developer, that would be, you know, that would be a, a good target. But whether they're really, you know, a platform, yeah, that's a great question. Well... Cheers, James. Thank you for uh, joining us and talking about beer and developer Enjoy your black uh, butt, 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 butte. That's right. Cheers. And, uh, yeah, double daddy. <laughs>